Hey, 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 look at this. This is the brand new Gen 8. I know you guys have seen possibly videos the last couple weeks, but too bad. This is the Christmas house video. And I thought uh, for the last two weeks of extra good things to say. You know what? I didn't watch any other videos on it because I just wanted to get my greasy mitts on it. And the reason I don't like to watch a lot of videos is because they'll make me start thinking about things. And I'll be like, hmm, what do I watch out for? Okay. So check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, you know, sometimes it'll put a bias on you, right? This truck, they did a great job. Uh, and I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to go on very few, few rants. And I know that seems impossible because it is because I'm going to rant uh, eventually. These lenses are amazing. The front grille, amazing. We love all the inserts here uh, on the grille assembly, like this this um, this hard plastic, which is really cool. Uh, I'm really digging the, the whole aspect of semi hard bodies i know that that sounds kind of stupid but like it's lexan which is what we actually all want in a material for a truck um but you know a lot of us have fooled ourselves and think we all want hard bodies hard bodies are wonderful but they are brittle and they do way more and but you can paint them a little easier sometimes but lexan with some of the hard body accessories are cool would have liked to have seen rubber mirrors on here would have liked to see it but these fold in so easy it's good it's like when people go buy my real truck, my mirrors are always folded. I'm like, don't touch my freaking mirrors, right? Uh, this is great. Rally with an E at the end. Wow, that's like when I spell color with a U. A? Nah, that's a Canadian thing, right? America. Check it out, check it out. The door opens. I'm just kidding, it doesn't. But it looks, it was so realistic, I thought it was real. And the key goes in the, very good, okay? I know, now I'm being a bit of an idiot. Rear taillight lenses, and these taillights are just gorgeous. Multi-piece, like, compound lens, almost. Like, sick. You got this little, look at this. Look at this. You can take the little receiver out here, the little cat. Meow. Pop that out. Got little D-ring shackles there. Get the, get it good to go. Uh, front bumper, really cool, too. No receiver hitch here. That is a thing. Whatever. Pretty rare. Um, you know, or people have front and rear mounted winches and they've got it except you know but you, we, we can get a winch in there it's okay it's got a couple little screw holes there uh this was the most impressive packaging i've ever seen on a truck the box honestly is uh there's a lot to be desired there um but it's red cat and i'm okay with that um they don't need to, better than their old red boxes you guys know what i'm talking about there everybody at red cat i know you watch these and I respect you guys. Doing a good job. Don't make me prepay for a whole bunch of trucks, though, again. Listen to me. Uh, okay, that was my rant. Uh, this had uh, clear plastic over top, and that's why this thing looks like glass. Look at that. Like, if you didn't know, it looks like a lake on the Nipissing. Or Minnetonka. I don't know. Uh, I'm really good at geography, eh? Okay, so... Uh, beautiful packaging. It actually reminded me of Traxxas. Traxxas is the best at packaging, period their bodies don't come out scuffed a lot of red cat in the past have can't tell you how many trucks like especially the red cat gen gen 7 sport we got when we first got them there were scratches all over the top it sucked we have plastic polish uh, that we use called plexus and it fixed it up but anyways uh as far as stance go i feel like it it has a lot of like um factory sag without batteries in it like i can only push this down maybe a quarter inch but i understand that when the truck is working and you're getting your five inches of flex we're good to go okay but i feel that it, it might need it's gorgeous how it's very flowy but i think maybe a little more progressive of a shock the ground clearance oh my word three fingers i don't know that's my measuring okay these portal axles look great uh constant velocity in there too oh this is a real pretty truck. Really cool. Uh, chassis mounted steering. We all know my thoughts on that. Actually, I got a great YouTube comment a couple weeks ago. I forget what it is, and, and uh, I'm staying a little late to do the video, so I'm not going to rush it, but I'm not going to take all day, okay? So let's get the body off here. Let's get it off. Uh, oh, let's go to the inside of the body real quick. Love this support system in here, okay? Like with this with this little this little piece. I don't want to scratch the body here, okay? With this little piece here, which is great. Uh it stiffens it up. It's great. Okay. Body's wonderful. Uh very um Traxxas slash axial-ish, um, or or better. Because this is at a cheaper uh when I say cheaper price point, it's a more inexpensive price point. Red cat, you're pushing the envelope. 
just keep doing it, okay? Just keep doing it. Uh, 15 kg servo, which is, uh, the 15S is a bulletproof servo. And there's a, probably one of the most crude, but a, God, that's crude. It's like stamped. But you do get a metal servo horn. Like, no one's doing this stuff. They're just not doing it. You listened. And the polishing on this, um, or the paint, I, I can't really tell. It's a little tricky. On the uh, diff cover is great. Six little screws. Those are like M2s, and I hate M2, like the rest of the world, but that's okay. I'll let you fly. Uh, Hexfly ESC, nothing fancy, nothing right home about, but frig, they are reliable. 550, I believe that's going to be a, is it 12 or 17 turn? Whatever, internet land already knows before I do these days. Uh, but this is really cool too. So... We have these connect, I can disconnect my servo and my ESC without taking the friggin' uh, the waterproof receiver box apart. Now this also is a good area to have water, dust, dirt, debris, and crap get into. What you could do though is put a little dielectric grease in there or you could um, fill these up or put over top a little brush on electrical tape um, or maybe some like Zappa Gap, like some uh, silicone uh, glue kind of thing. And that'll help insulate that as well, okay? Um, I'm not gonna get into all of this stuff in here, but I, I really like it. Uh, one downside for this truck, okay, is the radio. I don't like these radios. I don't know anybody who does. They feel cheap. They feel crappy. They feel plastic and basic, and I get it. Um, we carry the, what is it, a little $70 Red Cat truck, and it actually has a better feeling radio. But these are very functional, and they work very good. I just think they're goofy, and, um, like, get rid of the, get rid of the Red. I, I understand Red Cat. Get rid of this, too. Um... Just give us a DX5 rugged with it, okay? For the same price. <laughs> uh, chassis composition is gorgeous. This is... When the TRX4 came out, it was a... Um, it really was a game changer. And I don't know if I call this truck a game changer, but what I'm going to call this truck is... I think this is the I think this is the new standard. Wow. I, I got goosebumps actually. They're small, okay, but they are actually there. Because this is how companies should be producing these trucks for these kind of price points, okay? Um I hate just talking about price point because I know the performance of this is gonna be really excellent. And as you guys know, we do a lot of static reviews on these things, okay? Um, what I'm really, really digging with this truck, um, this little curve right here, uh, that, that, that's, I understand it's for the ring gear in there, okay? Um, let's get a little more material in there or some covers, okay? Because, and I know that you might lose a little bit of ground clearance for the pumpkin, but I can see that being a real area where you can get a little smashy, smashy. The links are up high though. It's beautiful. The chassis mounted servo actually works pretty good, but as you can see, this will pull to the left or your right. And you see the wheels move slightly. Chassis mounted steering in kiss my you know what okay i don't like it but it does fit well with the truck it isn't a very skilled vehicle does it make a big difference when you're driving it no it doesn't okay and i know i'm a little hard on it beautiful uh heavy duty you know three mil four mil links which is great uh front and rear okay and your steering that's wonderful. The chassis on this thing, this is the heaviest duty freaking chassis, the rails I'm talking about, I have ever seen. These portal axles look extremely serviceable. They have all the little extra uh, supports in here, which are going to make it really friggin' tough. You get metal 12 millimeter axle hubs in there. It doesn't take a lot to really get Chris excited. That's me, third person. Put a little extra metal in these things and the durability goes up exponentially. It does. This is nice and smooth here. You don't get too much catching on here. Nice and smooth. Like I said, this could be a little bit of a problem, but when you run your hands down it, this thing's going to glide over rocks. These plastic pieces, I almost thought they were metal because they're so friggin' heavy duty. These are gorgeous. Um, I'm not sure about the bolt-on application there, like with that, um, but functionally, uh, functionality? Yeah, I got my, my grade 12, so leave me alone. I think the function of these are good. The grammar police, someone's going to get me on that one. Um, this battery tray. So it looks like we've got a little slot so you can actually fit maybe like a miniature battery. I don't really know what the logic with this is, um, so I apologize for that. But I like two strap batteries, okay, uh, two strap in it. That's what I did in high school, okay. You know, then they did that one strap thing. I missed out on that. I was kind of a, a nerd in high school, but check this out too. Check it out. Check, yeah, I'm a nerd and, and I was an RC. 
but now look at me. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four slots. So if you have a shorty battery, guess what? Boom, there you go. Um, actually, I'm thinking that maybe this is battery exit point, so you can actually have the wires go out and around and under here. Um, th anyways... I spent 30 seconds talking about a battery tray. All I can tell you is that's pretty cool, okay? Um, as far as transmission goes, as far as I'm, uh, I know, everything is all metal inside. You get metal standoffs for your shocks. You get all aluminum shocks on here. These shocks seem to be uh, possibly uh, mis... I don't want to say miss valve, but uh, maybe a little taller uh, spring tension here, which they are threaded shock bodies, which is really great, okay? So we can adjust that down. I think that's all it needs, okay? These supports in here... These are really cool, and we can also put in body mounts too, which is really nice. I like it. The plastic quality is the best I have seen. The plastic quality is the best I have ever seen. War not, and I'm not finishing that off by saying from Red Cat. It's the best I've ever seen. Uh, now we might be talking it's one and a half percent better than than some of the some of the newer Traxxas plastics, but this is the best plastic I've ever seen. I've worked with so many cars, I've broken so many cars, I've seen so many parts. This to me is like Red Cat called the Rubbermaid company and said, Hey, hey guys, hey. No, no, I gotta get an American accent. Hi, I gotta make a truck and I got plastic and you make garbage cans that I can drive my four by four over. And they're like, we can help. You like how, I don't know why my default is just, it's Southern for America. I love it. And literally, out came the, the, the Gen 8 plastic quality. And I know this is getting a little long in the tooth here, but all I can tell you is this truck, this truck is great. Um, no battery and charger included, uh, which I, I didn't actually think to ask that initially, but uh, which I think is a bit of a boob move, but it's okay because everyone's got, a lot of guys buying these have batteries and have chargers and the logic is there and let's keep the price point down by not giving someone a 2,000 milliamp hour battery they don't care about, okay? A lot of these factory batteries, they stink, okay? This is super smooth too, a lot of good gear reduction. I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna go low, or sorry, nice and slow and pretty much crawl up whatever you want. Um, would've been nice to see maybe a little bit larger of a tire, but the tires are, and, and I, you know, I would've asked me for a 1.7 1 or 1.55, but I don't wanna get greedy here, okay? We can always change that stuff later. Now let's put the body back on. I'm gonna put the body back on. And the body goes on really easily too. I look cockeyed on it a little bit, but it's okay. Rock rails look really great. Thank you, Red Cat, for producing what I believe is going to be the, um, the best truck of 2019, and we're in the friggin' second week of January. I don't like hype beasts. How I mean that is, I'm expecting any day... Axial, Viterra, somebody to be like, we have a new eight-wheel drive. Oh my God, six scale. I'm not going to order it. I don't want that stuff. What I want and what our customers want and what you want is a solid, dependable, reliable vehicle that has some nice features on it, that looks good, performs well, and is affordable. Affordable, and we're talking eighteen dollars it better be under 500 bucks. Okay, we've done a lot of research. We spent a lot of time, Tony and I spent a lot of time going over different things. We're getting into new categories at the store. If you've got a vehicle that's over, you know, $600, $700 Canadian or, you know, in, in America's terms, let's say over 500 bucks, it better be good. And when I say better be good, it better be so friggin' good, I got to order a dozen of them. Now, to give you some perspective, we were only allowed to order eight of these. Six of them are already gone. I want to give a special little shout out here. Uh, just at the end of our video, okay? I want to give a special shout out to a few people. Um, oh, we're blowing up on Facebook today. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, Byron Anderson, uh, thank you for uh, your purchase. Uh, Steve Carrier, thank you for uh, a personal uh, thank you, an extra personal because this is your truck, Steve. And uh, oh no, Steve, you got an orange one. Sorry. That's okay. I left the orange ones alone. But Steve, thanks for letting us use your trucks. I know you said you're you're already gonna let us use it anyway. Um, uh, Jason Longaro, uh, another thank you. Uh, Chris Jensen and Graham, we appreciate. Uh, and Tony, uh, thank you for all of your uh, your pre sales. It, it's 
it's uh you know margin is really sl is slimmer and slimmer on vehicles so when you guys do a pre-sale we give you some bonus things like a little extra warranty uh give you a little bit of a break on the price and it really helps us run our biz and do things the way we need to here so thank you very very much all right guys i know the video is long i can't wait to get home and post this up this truck is great Come in and buy one. We're going to have two available in a couple weeks. Uh, we're going to get a couple more after that. And we actually have two other guys who are looking for some right now. We're trying to sort it out for them. If we can give them the ones we have. Anyways, a long story. So this is hot. This is great. Uh, good luck, everybody else. If you're coming out with a, ro a rock crawler, it better be better than the TRX4. And I got to tell you, it better be better than the new Red Cat Gen 8. Because the Red Cat Gen 8, as far as I'm concerned... Um, well, here, here's one for you. We stopped carrying the TRX4. Another silent moment. This is a big epiphany video. Someone's going to be like, oh my God, the TRX4 is a great truck. This is better. This is a better truck. We still love you, Traxxas. Don't, don't worry. We still got lots of your stuff. We still love you. But Red Cat, oh man, you're, you're our true love. Okay, big hearts. X's and O's. Thanks, guys. I know I get mushy there at the end. Click to the top right. To subscribe yeah subscribe so i can make 52 cents and uh you know offset uh offset seven some vehicles here okay guys uh i really appreciate it if you guys have any questions please comment below uh have fun see you soon